Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Star Rail. I'm jumping in early today, as soon, pretty much as soon as this went live. Uh, we're going to be getting, hopefully, General Feishao today. Our General 2, the second General. We're collecting all the Generals. Well, maybe. I don't know. I kind of felt like I was collecting all of the 10 Stone Hearts, and then I didn't have enough Jades for, ironically, Jade. It is how it is, right? But we have 158 pulls. My goodness, there was a big chunk of free pulls at the start of this one. And we've got the 10 free fuel as well to power her up after this. So things are looking good for Fei Xiao. But let's go in. Let's pull. I am definitely going the whole way for her. I have Robin. I have Topaz and Numbi. I have Aventurine. I have all of her best team. So for me, there's really no question. I think she's going to be massive for particularly Apocalyptic Shadow. Uh, because I know, I know it's not a hunt mode. There's literally zero good hunt characters for Apocalyptic Cat. I think that's what Reddit says. So, yeah, it must be true. Um, yeah. In terms of this, man, if we get if we get Feisha really early, I've got... I actually have Robin and Black Swan already. I would be a little tempted to get Kafka. But to be honest, I, I don't know. I'm torn on this. If we get it super early, we might go for Kafka. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm kind of more tempted by Lingsha, as you guys uh, know. I'm a fan of Lingsha, and I only have Aventurine as my only 5-star limited sustain, so she'd be kind of nice. But, hey, listen, you know me. We're probably going to lose the 50-50. Let's start warping. Let's go. Let's do this. Imagine we got her on the first one. Well, it's not happening, but hey, <laughs> let's see what we get. Moza copies would be nice. I don't need to build him uh per se because i've got a secret vow that's not useful at all ah! um i don't need to build moza per se uh, because i've got topaz and numbi and i do have march 7th i've been slowly building up march 7th that's been something i've been working on now as well after grinding out some of the wind soaring valorous set uh for yun lee and now for fei xiao um but yeah, I'm not too pushed about building him, but I'd like to have Moza and get... I think, you know, getting a few copies of him would be nice as well. Asta, you know, some Asta Eidolons are not terrible. So I don't know if I'm ever really going to use her. I have... Oh, only Silence Remains. I think I've got that maxed out already. So, hmm. But hey, we'll take extra four stars. We'll do it. Um, yeah, Asta, I... See, she's so much better with Eidolons, but I've got all of the limited harmony so i don't have uh obviously jiao cho who's looking really honestly jiao cho would have been good but i'm not an akron player now one thing i am going to be looking to do i think soon i've i've built a lot and we are building a lot here into the follow-up team there's another asta wait there's another asta back to back asta okay <laughs> back to back well i guess asta's gonna be maxed out is this a bad sign? Is this the sign we're losing the 50-50 to get Moza? <laughs> Maybe. Um, I've been building so much into follow-up now. Gosh, my follow-up team is really pimping. But my other teams, my second teams, those ones are struggling a bit. Those teams don't have a limited sustain. They're, they're not having the crazy support. Like, we've got, you know, Ron May or Sparkle. Wow, there's another Asta. Holy, holy moly. They've got Asta, apparently. Uh, but, you know, building a full second follow... I could almost build a full second follow-up team. It's just not going to be quite as strong, of course. Um, yeah, that's just something we need to watch out for. I probably need to start investing into other types of teams. And pure fiction is also a concern for me. You know, if Jade... Whenever Jade comes back, Jade rerun is definitely tempting. Definitely. To really lock down the pure fiction for me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. We'll see how we do today. We might have literally zero passes and it doesn't matter. Oh, another resolution shines as pearls of sweat. That's a good one to get. Very good one to get. We'll definitely take that. I think I've only got it like S2 maybe. Something like that. But yeah, more copies of that. It's, it's a decent one to have. Though I don't, uh, as I said, I don't play around Nihility too much as it is right now. Okay, we are closing in on mercy i think this is 70 i think this is 70 first but yeah pure fiction is really a concern and, and definitely some 
yeah some other five stars some other limited characters that oh there he is moza welcome to the squad yo moza's also gotta help us he will get us if we level him up at least two pretty easy regular star rail passes and i need some of those regular passes to uh to get to the guaranteed right we're closing in on that 300 regular passes it takes so long it takes unbelievably long there's our first moza okay we got moza we have not seen a sniff of luca which is fine i have him s s6 already this pull right here this could be face out maybe this is 70. yeah this one is 70. this one is 70. that's not so bad but we didn't get her early but if we got face out now that would be great we got the moza even just one copy is is a copy you could peace out happy Good night and sleep well. That's another really good Nihildi light cone. We'll definitely take copies of that. I only have that S1, I think. We'll take it for sure. Bunch of blues. Bunch of blues. Okay, man, we're getting a lot of light cones and not a lot of characters. All right, this really should be the one. Oh, it's not. Oh my God, this is brutal. Are we going to run out? We're going to run out of pulls. We're going to run out of pulls if we lose the 50-50. Oh man, this is... I have the worst luck in this game. I'm pretty sure I added it up right. There's a Luca. Well, don't need him. He gave us a refund. Apparently, we're going to need that. We're going to need those, whatever they are. Undying Embers, Undying Starlight. We're going to need that for more pulls. The moles welcome you. Thanks, moles. Not. All right. I mean, let's go in again. This has to be it. Yes. I... I this might even have been the hard pity, 90. Boom. Let's go. Come on, Feishao. Come early. Early. Yes, yes, yes. He came early. Amazing. We got her. We're building up some pity for the next one, apparently, as well. A second Feishao? Is there a second Feishao in here? Oh, there's a second Moza. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, oh, what? Oh, shit! It is a second face show! What the crap, dude? Oh, what? Oh, my God! What the, What did I do? We should have pulled them one by one. Now, we'll just take, we'll take that win. What? What? Uh, what just happened? He won face show. What the crap? <laughs> what? Okay, let's do these ones first. Oh, my God. What, what do I even do now? I don't even know what to do. Should we go for E2, face out? She's going to be so strong that she's E1. We actually didn't even get E6 on her. What just happened? Moza, E1. Every shadow on the get some energy. Could be more energy. Oh, yeah. We really want, you really want E2. Sorry, E2 on him. 40% more crit damage against his target. Uh... What does this even do? Skyward I Quell. After launching Bolt Thunder Blitz or War Axe Skyward, additionally increase the ultimate damage dealt by Face Out by an amount equal to 10% of the original damage, backing up to five times, lasting until the end of the ultimate. This Set makes it sound like she just hits a lot harder. What's her E2 do? In the Talents effect, for every one instance of follow up attack launched by allies, gains one point of Flying Aureus, can trigger up to six times per turn. I think this means that she basically just stacks her ultimate way faster. Holy shit, we just got a random E1. <laughs> that is mental. Oh man, if we pull one by one, I mean, like, it's not how it works, but it might, that could have been like a Kafka right there or a Ling Sha and so few. I would have preferred that, but hey, we'll take E1. Bay Shao. We just won two 50 50s in a row. Well, it took us ages to get there. We'll take it. We're going to give her a cruising in the stellar seat. Confirm that. Thank you very much. Sorry, Dr. Racio. You've got nothing left. And yeah, time to go level her up and whatnot. Um, that is actually, that's actually crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. We jump into the Starlight Exchange. Uh, we still have a few of these. Nice. Not going to buy any of those. Uh, I'm actually, you know, I might say I might need some Tracks of Destiny pretty badly. And we should have now enough for this because I'd missed out on, I'd overspent in the shop. So here we go. A couple more Tracks of Destiny. I actually really need those. Five regular passes. I'm going to probably save this up for the next month. 
just to try to make sure I, I get carried away and I spend this stuff. Terrible. Terrible, I know. Um, hang on. Okay. So let's finish off. We've got 73 left. 73. I mean, we could pull and fish for another copy of Face Out. Guys, let me know in the comments below what would we, we, we what would you do? We could go for her light cone. We could fish for a second copy because E2 face out would be kind of bonkers. Yeah. And look, if we don't get the 50-50, then it's it's fine. We'll be ready for the next character. I mean, it's an option. Let's see, we are 275 here right now. I mean, let's go. Let's pull these as well in the video. But please let me know what you would do. I suspect he, I'm gonna have to ch uh, check some charts in terms of this stuff. I'd never plan to get any Eidolons for any character pretty much ever, uh, but we've got him. <laughs> we've got it. So yeah, going for oh, and Natasha, rubbish car. Um, okay, nothing, nothing good here. Yeah, it probably E2. It might be worth going for, like just to to lock in some stuff. It makes it super unrelatable as the downside. It makes it so unrelatable. But it probably does make sense to go for E2. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Should we go hard on Face Out? Uh, we need to play with her. I mean, she seems super fun. But, I mean, let's play out. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, that was absolutely bonkers. We finally got the Eidolon I always wanted. E1 Natasha. Thank you so much for I the support, everybody. Me. Now we got E1 Face Out. I'm going to go level her up. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.